Okay. On a further note, you know, you all have your favorite shows, right? I got my favorite, and it's called Alone. Now, the reason why I feel, I feel this video should get to the producers or whatever, because a lot of times, you know, after it's successful for many seasons in a row, you get, uh, you know, you can tell when they're starting to stage shit. Okay, so there's never been a female winner, and there never will be a female winner if, if they're on that show. Now, it's not that I'm against females. I think females should have their own alone show, one that they can actually win. Okay, on a further note, you know, you all have your favorite shows, right? I got my favorite, and it's called Alone. Now, the reason why I feel, I feel this video should get to the producers or whatever, because a lot of times, you know, after it's successful for many seasons in a row, you get, uh, you know, you can tell when they're starting to stage shit, okay? So there's never been a female winner, and there never will be a female winner if, if they're on that show. Now, it's not that I'm against females. I think females should have their own alone show, one that they can actually win. Okay, now, there's some really great female survivalists, and we saw them on the alone show, and uh, the old blonde and the last one was my favorite. But, uh, you know, here's the deal. These guys are signing up for the show, the alone show. And guess what they're doing? They're making a YouTube channel. So it doesn't matter if they win or not. You know, because they got their names on the Alone Show. They go off, they make a YouTube channel, create a website, you know, and they're making bank. And then they refer to, oh, when I was in Patagonia or this, that, and the other. It's kind of like, all you have to do is get on the Alone Show. And then start a YouTube channel. Okay, you don't have to win it. There's nobody that's hungry. There's no male that's hungry enough to win it. The females, of course, now their their big thing is the, to to beat the guy. But if, if like the next season or whatever, if they ever get to the point where they are beating a guy, it's because you're not getting the cream cream to the little cream. You're not getting the cream to the crop. You're not getting the top survivalist. Okay. You're getting these guys that really don't give a shit. They're going to go on there for a couple days, couple weeks, couple months, and, you know, start a YouTube channel when they get out. There's no sense in trying to win that thing, $500,000, a million dollars. They're just not hungry enough for it. You know? Here's what I suggest. When you sign up for that alone show, if you don't win it, you don't get to start no YouTube channel. You know, now, not, not, I'm not saying nothing against the guys that have been on it starting a YouTube channel. I watch Cold Cracker Books, Bushcraft, and hell, him and I are from the same state and stuff like that. But all I'm saying is they really have no incentive to go on the alone show and win the damn thing. They just really don't. And then when the girls finally beat a guy, it's, it's not going to be a, a genuine win. It's going to be... Bullshit. The girls need to have their own alone show, which I support, and the guys have to have their own alone show, you know. But uh, I, I just hope the producers don't think we're stupid enough to see what's going on, you know. Uh, and I hope somebody out there can get them this video, because I am the biggest alone fan there is. Watch it. Know all the guys. Know all their YouTube channels. I know what they're doing. I know what's going on. So, anyway. Up the ante. No YouTube channel. Or, how about this? Everybody that goes on there, if they quit early or whatever, the only YouTube channel that they can have is one that's dedicated to the winner. Right? They got to pay homage to the winner. Uh, how about that? All right. Anyway. That's my little gripe about the Alone Show, my favorite show.